Good evening. This is Yao Yambu again. Talking about the subject of culture imperialism. Yesterday we said culture imperialism and when another people struggle to control another people mental and physically and to get people to go the way of their culture, their way of life, and forget their own way of life. Don't get a chance to know anything about their own culture before slavery. Culture imperialism is an enemy of the African masses throughout the world. I want to look at culture imperialism today because I think it's very important to get into this subject here of dealing with this uh, coronavirus in the sense of you know, uh, trying to send our kids back to school and they already let us know that we are the one that catch this virus most of all of all the races. So it's no, it's just like sending your kids into a fire chamber, you know, you send them into a death score, you know, and then like they're trying to kill off our youth. And that's what they did to us in Africa when they came and kidnapped us from Africa, kidnapped the youth of Africa. Now, they are trying to do the Jim Jones on us, you know. Jim Jones carried all our African brothers and sisters over there to jail and murdered them. Donald Trump trying to do the same thing with his fascist ass. Excuse my language. If you don't know what fascism is, fascism is a controlled police state. It is a controlled police state. And Donald Trump is a fascist. So you know he's a racist, no doubt. You know that because he supports Israel, Zionism. So you already know that he's a skint here. He already a Ku Klux Klan. But Mick, we must come to uh, prepare ourselves for our lives and we can see what's going on. But I, I beg of you mothers, most of all, you African mothers, most of all, please, don't let your kids go to those schools. You might well just send them on into the gas chamber. Don't 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 do that. Don't let the capitalist system fool you. That's why I was talking about culture imperialism. You think they be pushing it, and then we want to jump on the bandwagon like they know everything and what's going on, and uh, we can just follow their lead, follow their path. No, we can't do that. We cannot do that, mothers and some fathers. Please, don't send our kids to those schools. They're going to murder us. And y'all know they're going to murder us. And it's all in the name of capitalism. Because they want to make money off the sports, especially football. You think about high school football, million dollar industry, college football, million plus industry, <laughs> professional football, so many millions. Look, capitalism know it's following. They play baseball. Ain't nobody in the stand getting, you know, commercials off of commercials, you know. They ain't no telling how much commercials is now to buy a commercial, you know, so the, the, the imperialists squeeze the little man out. He can't afford to buy that million dollar commercial to advertise this stuff, you know. Capital imperialism. That's what it's called, you know. Capitalism, what is capitalism? It is a political, economic, Social system where the means of production and distribution are privately owned. It is a political, economic, social system where the means of production and distribution are privately owned. So the only thing everybody else got to sell is nothing but their labor, which make you an economic slave, make us an economic slave. And look at all the resources we have at home in Africa. We shouldn't be an economic slave to nobody. We're rich. We just need to take control of our home, our homeland, Africa, and our resources. Put our resources together, our natural, our minerals, our human resources, and build Africa. We don't build the world thinking about what kind of modern Africa we could have with all of the resources that we have. But first of all, we got to admit that we're Africans. We care about Africa. We love Africans and we love Africa. We want Africans and Africa to be free. And we must want to do everything in our power to convince our people that the most important thing to a slave is freedom. We can't say we free. Who freed us? Abraham Lincoln? Get out of here. 
You know what I'm saying? Dr. Martin Luther King doing the city. Well, who freed us in then? Who freed us? You know, freedom ain't a gift. It's a victory. You know, like in Haiti. That's a victory. And ever since we kicked the French out, the Gaul out in Haiti, all Europeans have always hated Haiti. I always hated the Africans in Haiti. God. Haiti was a prime example of how we can bring warfare to our enemy to get them off our back. We just need to become organized. Need to join some organization working for the people. And then you got that old redneck governor up there in Georgia. Kind of jump on that African queen up there who's the mayor. Because she's looking out for the African masses up there because she knows the majority of masses of the peoples in Atlanta are Africans. And she's trying to do everything she can not for so many of us to catch this virus and pass away. And this European racist, redneck, Ku Klux Klan, Donald Trump boy, ain't doing nothing but trying to murder our kids. Please don't send your kids to those schools. Please, let them go to school online. Don't get their tablets. Let them go to school online. You know, then we need to teach our kids as much as we can teach our kids. And we need to teach them about us as a people, all our development, even even since we've been over here in child slavery, all of the inventions and stuff that we done brought forth in world civilization, either as, even as a slave. <laughs> we might not get no credit for it, you know, but we know we are the ones that brought it forth onto the earth. So many things that Africans have gave to world history, even, like I said, even in slavery, even in child slavery, we were developing stuff. Europeans taking the ownership of it. Culture imperialism. Nigga like you ain't nobody. You ain't got no history. Your history is a history of a no good people. Even if you look in the European dictionary, you look up the word black, look up the word white, you know the definitions that you see. Because you know that's racist. And that's why I said yesterday that we must get away from that. We went from black power to pan-Africanism. We must understand that we are Africans, nothing else but Africans. Once we can come to that concept and we push that, just like McDonald's still push, come to McDonald's, we need to push, be much repetitious as they are, and push it. You ain't nothing but an African. Hey, African, African. I can remember. I used to go to Fort Valley State on the campus over there organizing the students. Good morning, African. How you doing? I ain't no African. <laughs> Might go on three or four days or one more. He might say to me, good morning, Alvin. I said, good morning, Alvin. How you doing? <laughs> Must be repetition. One thing I love about Kwame Ture, he loved the working for the people. He can always keep a smile on his face and working for the people because he loved the people. He loved working for his people. And I feel the same way and stuff. You know, you got you to love working for your people. We can't keep letting the capitalist, imperialist, Zionist, racist, regime of European control us in our land. We must start getting prepared to even to feed ourselves. We need to want to stop eating all this old pods and food they have in the stores for us anyway. At least in Georgia, people of North they ain't got a supermarket in the neighborhood. They fed, fed food eaters. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. You know, we have to start making gardens. We need to start Taking care of ourselves better. We need to start doing more with our kids in the community. You know, they call me an OG, you know. When I was in school, you know, every, every Friday morning, the elementary class got to do some kind of performance. And in the evening time, the high school got to also do a performance. This every Friday, every Saturday, to see uh, what kind of uh, talent that we have to move forward. You know, and we got to start doing the same things in our community. To give our kids something to do. We must have some training things in, in, in dealing with our culture. And letting them uh, play act different peoples and stuff on and off the continent. Great kings and queens of Africa. You know, so we can't be uh, letting the U.S. Uh, murder us. And then say, so look, look over in Brazil, where you got 70% or more Africans there. And then, you know, there's a large number of there dying from the coronavirus and stuff, you know. Uh, join warfare. Nanny in Africa. Join warfare. Trying to kill us all. Want our land. Want our resources. 
They can see we struggling coming to get it more quicker and faster every day. Every day, an African starts saying, I'm an African, nothing but I'm just an African. You know, that we got to make sure that we control our life. Don't be following no European way of life. Look at, look at our younger generation. You know, they stopped give, giving them European names. They started giving them names. They might didn't know what they meant, men were. But they know they sounded African. They know they sounded African. They know they didn't sound no European. They didn't want them name no more. You know, that's progress. That's progress. For our people moving forward. Getting a better understanding of our history and our culture. And, 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 and studying the European way of life. Because we know capitalism ain't got no morals now. Capitalism have no morals. All y'all think capitalism got some morals, you are absolutely wrong about that. Capitalism suffered its own people in Europe before they got to us. You know, so capitalism ain't got no morals. It's dog eat dog society. You know, whoever got the money is the one that rules everything and stuff, you know. Everybody else suffer upon them, you know. But we know we came out of communalism in Africa. And we say that they are, you know, it takes a community to raise a child. Well, we need to get back to that then and start letting our youth have some responsibility inside of our community, checking on the elderly people, keeping up with their youth, helping them with their lesson, especially the smart students in the community. You know, start a little reading class. Start doing something, helping out wherever you can help out and dealing with your knowledge among yourself. Go to school online. Don't be going to them schools. They're going to murder us in them schools. They're going to murder us. We ain't, we ain't that out of it, are we? It's, this is very serious. And they tell you every day on the television, on the radio, all kind of news media, that it's serious. So no, let's not kill up our kids for them want to play football where the capitalist system can make some money, where they can still run properly. The capitalism falling. That's why I believe in socialism. I believe in scientific socialism. I can never be a capitalist because Africa didn't produce capitalism. They didn't get capitalism to the world. Europe did. We came out of communalism. And social, scientific socialism is just a high form of communalism. We didn't have no hunger Africans in Africa before European colonialism, colonialism, imperialism, neocolonialism now. We, we didn't have that. When we came over here, we didn't have no cavity. They looked all in our mouths and everywhere all over our body. We was a strong, healthy African people. And they was buying us on the slave block. Now we're over here. Now we don't even know we are the same African that was sold on the slave block. How can we not? How can you want to be American? The worst thing I want to be in the world is America. <laughs> I never want to be America. America ain't never, never suffered us. America suffered us before the United States of America started suffering us. They always suffered. Now we had brothers going off the wall in every war the U.S. done had. Think they come and fight for a better world. Come back, everything will be better. Come back. Wussle. They're in a wussle shape, all lamed up and everything and stuff, you know. Ain't no economic, social condition change for them, for us as a people, for them fighting. You know, who's going to trust the United States? The United States is a dog government. And it's always going to be until the masses of our people rise up and overthrow it. And capitalism must be overthrow it. Because you can't rearrange capitalism. You can't change capitalism. Because capitalism has certain principles. And these, some of these principles that capitalism have is like must be unemployment. Must be poor health care. Must be poor education. And look at education. Don't you think any society will want education to be free just like Cuba but where they can train the next generation to be more smart and more intelligent to help the masses of the people out better and put them on a better condition rather than trying to charge them so much money to go to college to help the society in which they live to advance for all of the people. Not some of the people, but all of the people. Under scientific socialism, it's for all of the people. Under capitalism, it's just for a few people. The capitalists, the imperialists. So we must 
constant struggle against European control. But once you find out that they are European and they ain't that color you always want to refer to them as, then like I said, you start looking out a little bit uh, different. You know what I'm saying? Because we know it was the Romans who was who? European that did what? Nailed Jesus to the cross. Don't get it confused. Same European, just the Romans. They the one had the control. They the one had to say so. Just like the European want to have and got now. Because we won't get up and organize ourselves into some form of organization to start fighting for us as a people for our liberation and getting prepared, doing everything we can do. Joining some organization, working for your people. Because if you ain't no organization or trying to start an organization, then you can't be fighting for your people. Join your people. Wow. Well, my 15 minutes is up today. I want to thank those who have the opportunity to turn it on and watch me. I'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. talking about some other things. I love y'all. Forward with the African Revolution.